How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a hard reset on an iPhone 7 Plus. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus work similar, it's the same exact way. Um, if you are doing this to clear your phone or reset it to factory settings um, and you have access to your phone to get inside the phone and go through settings and reset it, I strongly recommend doing a factory reset. It is a lot easier, uh, less problems that way. Uh, the hard reset is recommended for uh, doing resets if a phone has uh, is disabled or if it's got a passcode on it that you have forgotten. So before we get started, I would like to just kind of recommend getting the latest uh, version of iTunes. That'll kind of help uh, take away any kind of problems, any errors that might pop up later on. So if you're trying to do this and you're getting error messages, try upload uh, updating your iTunes. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes and uh, some errors also pop up because you have a cable that is not working correctly. So uh, changing that out might help solve some of the problems as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with uh, showing you guys that the iPhone is disabled. This this one is disabled. Uh, Ask to connect to iTunes. So if you're doing the uh, reset, it is slightly different here on the new phones because the home button, it used to be the power in the home button. The home button is no longer a button. It is a sensor, so it does not work that way. Um, so we're going to want to start off by powering off the device. And right here, we're going to go ahead and slide to power off. Uh, next thing you're going to want to have is have a computer or a laptop that has iTunes on it and access to the internet. It doesn't matter what brand or if it's a laptop or a computer, as long as you have iTunes with internet. Um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is hook up our phone to that uh, computer or laptop with your charging cable. And then once you have all that set, what we're gonna wanna do is first hit the power button, hold it for three seconds, and then simultaneously click the volume down button. Uh, once we have that going after 10 seconds, we will release the power button and continue holding the volume down button until an error pops up here on our iTunes screen. So what I'm gonna go ahead and start this off, power button, three, two, one, add the volume down button, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Release the power button, continue holding the volume down button. And we're gonna be waiting for an error to pop up right there. And once it pops up, you can then release it and uh, remove your hands from the device. And we're gonna be moving over to the iTunes screen. It says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. You're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And it gives us iPhones in recovery mode. If you're experiencing problems with your iPhone, you can restore it. It's settings, uh, restored settings, original settings by uh, clicking the restore iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and select restore iPhone. Excuse, are you sure you want to uh, erase your phone? Everything will be deleted. Um, yes, we're gonna go ahead, restore and update. It talks about the uh, uh, iPhone software update 10.2.1. Select next, terms and agreement. We're gonna just go ahead and agree. And as you can see right over here, it is starting to download stuff for the iPhone. Right up there, it has the little uh, clock that's spinning under the download uh, symbol. So as it's downloading this information, I would just like to take a second and let you guys know that um, the time that it takes to update and restore everything, uh, there's a lot of variables that play into it. Uh, your version of iTunes, it might be updating your iTunes. Uh, might and then if the phone was an older uh, iOS or operating system, it'll be updating that as well. So that takes more time. If you have slower internet connection, that will add also add time to it to make it uh, the process longer. Um, in this case, I'm not sure what iOS is on this device. Um, I just go ahead and crop this just to make sure you guys are getting everything you guys need to see and all the download upload stuff uh, is cut to a minimum. So. So here it is, it is still uploading. Um, some of them, some of the iTunes will have little bars showing you the progress, seeing how far it is. Uh, mine on this iTunes version, all you gotta do is click on it here, and it shows you that downloads, uh, iPhone software update, uh, 2.33 out of 2.4 gigabytes, about three minutes remaining. So um, that is just a little bit to show you how, uh, how fast it takes or how long it's gonna take, so that way you could plug it in, let it update while you go do something else. 
And at this time, I just also like to take a second and say that if you found a phone or you stole a phone and you're trying to do the hard reset because the previous owner had his information in there, um, the phone will be activation locked. Um, I'll show you what that will look like farther on in the video. Uh, towards the end, you'll be able to see it, and I'll kind of explain it to show you that uh, you need the old Apple ID password to get in. So this will not remove the Apple ID that is on the phone, that stays on the phone. Uh, that's a anti-theft security feature put in by Apple. Um, so there's no way, I haven't found a way to safely bypass it. There are other people that claim they have. Um, I've tried several different methods. I have not found anything. The only thing, there's little jailbreak type of things that only let you use the phone partially. So if, you, if you're buying a phone off eBay, make sure the IMEI is clean. Uh, make sure that everything is cleared off and there are no uh, iTunes accounts or Apple ID accounts attached to that phone. Make sure everything is cleared. Uh, tell the owner to wipe that and get it completely out of there. And so here we are, last few seconds of the uploads. Uh, processing the file, it's completed everything. So it looks like we are done with the update and now it is extracting software off the iPhone. As you guys can see the toolbar has now moved. Now we are up here, it's shown that we are extracting software. So at this point, it's removing everything off your device, um, any pictures, contacts, any kind of data will be wiped off. Uh, ev everything, um, excluding the carrier, this will not unlock the carrier, won't remove it. So if you're on with Verizon, you can't take it over to AT&T unless the phone is factory unlocked to start with. Um, so now it's moving on to preparing iPhone for restore. Waiting for iPhone. And now it's preparing iPhone for restore. I, the Apple logo has appeared on the iPhone. And at this point, we are seeing the power bar over here kind of fill up on the phone. Um, as long as it's verifying, restoring uh, firmware, software, all that kind of stuff. It's getting everything back up to date, uh, clear, clear, clearing all the old stuff off the phone and uploading the newest iOS uh, up onto the device and getting it to that factory uh, mode. So there we have it. Everything just kind of flashed. Everything seemed to have uploaded all the way. Uh, you guys can see that there is nothing going on with the device here itself. Uh, and now the device is starting up. So at this point, I will keep it connected and we'll just keep an eye here on the device. We're gonna go ahead and let this load up, get it go to get it to go all the way. It loaded up all the way and it has turned on. And here we are, we are at the activation lock screen. So here's how this works. If this phone is lost or stolen, it is asking for this iPhone is linked to an Apple ID. Enter the Apple ID and password that were used to set up this phone. So whatever is signed in on the phone at the time, you will need to enter it in. Uh, it gives you what the letter starts with and at hotmail.com. So if this was your phone, you would know what what it is, what the email that you used um, to activate the phone. So you'd be able to type that in and add the password. If you forgot your password, you can click it, reset it. There are multiple ways to reset it or restore it. Um, get it to get it to factory settings. So at this point, everything is wiped off the phone, but it is not set up. It is still locked and you're not able to activate this phone unless the activation lock is removed. Uh, you might say, well, I'm just going to go ahead into the phone and start the phone up. I'm going to go ahead and start up for you guys. I'm going to go with English. United States. It's going to ask you if you want to use a Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Wi-Fi network that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. So there we go. I got my password typed in. I'm just going to go ahead and hit join. And this is just part of the, I guess, setup process or the startup process for the iPhone. Um, so it's saying it would take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. If you don't have a SIM card 
in there it will not let you activate it and it comes right back here to the activation lock screen so it's saying hey you know on the itunes computer or the iphone and the itunes uh sync up they're saying that this phone has an i an icloud account or itunes signed in on it and go ahead and remove it so if it is yours you can go ahead type your information in and it will reset it will take it down to the home screen home settings if it's not your phone if you stole it found it this is what you get. The phone turns into a paperweight. It's not really used, not re very useful for anything else. So that is how you do the uh, hard reset on an iPhone 7. It's the same way for the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, go ahead. If someone's having a problem with this, you can share this with them. Let them know there is a solution for it. Let them check it out. And if you guys are saying, hey, you haven't finished the video, you didn't get it to the home screen, um, if it was your phone and you type in the uh, Apple ID information and the password, it will take you to the new phone. You could set up as a new device and it will be cleared. Nothing will be on it. And at that point, you could sell it, trade it, do whatever you got to do with it to get it uh, out of your hands. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.